Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm Andum Bazani and the gents. It's a great for those of you who are new to my channel and for those of you who are 10 subscribers. Yo, what's up? Uh, I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are well. This is another Transformation Tuesday here on my channel. On this channel, I do a lot of motivational talks, dance collaborations, workout challenges, and vlogs as well. If that's the type of content that you like, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. At the end of the video, leave a like. Comment down below absolutely anything you want. Turn on the bell so you can receive a notification every time I post. And share the link with your friends so you can have them subscribing as well. So, like I said, today we have another Transformation Tuesday here on my channel. Today's Transformation Tuesday is going to be about seasons. You know, the seasonal change in your life, how I feel about seasonal change, how it is going to affect you, and how you should act moving forward. So, let's just get right into this talk. So, life is a series of seasons that you go through. You know, every season with its own purpose, its own beauty, and its own challenges. We are so, we are seven months, yeah, yeah, we are seven months into the year already and so much time has passed, so many seasons have passed and there's no point in looking back at the seasons that have passed if you're not reflecting on them. It is a matter of looking forward to the seasons that lie. Matter of what do you plan to do while you wait for your winning season or how do you plan to get ready for your winning season, you know. You've made mistakes and you've missed opportunities, but that doesn't mean you should dwell or focus on the many things that have went wrong, you know? Um, do not allow your, yeah, the many things that have went wrong, you know? Do not allow yourself to cling on the pain or the heartache or the stress. Um, forget about, forget about that discomfort, you know? forget you know forget about the discomfort and everything that you have went through if it is not going to elevate you if you are not planning on growing from the things that have hurt you or reflecting on the things that you have went through it is a matter of release yourself from that discomfort because your winning season is approaching and you need to be ready for your winning season you know you can't and and with your winning season sorry i just want to sit comfortably and with your winning season approaching right as a person you cannot be terrified when you begin shedding you know when i speak about shedding i'm talking about when you begin losing friends when you begin viewing things differently you need to understand that is all part of your seasonal change as a person you are becoming a new person from your winning season to your learning season that is a different person that is a different mindset that is a different like that is a different learning experience and i want you to remember that as you listen to this talk and as you reflect on the things that have happened in your life i need you to remember that not every season is going to be beautiful that that's just that's just it not every season is going to be beautiful not every season is going to be fruitful not every season is going to be sexy you know there are seasons for watering your roots there are seasons for building your foundation there are seasons for shedding there are seasons for growing there are seasons for breakthrough there are seasons of healing like each and every single phase or thing or whatever you are going through it is a season and seasons they pass you know you are not going to remain in the same season forever you are either learning or you are either winning okay this thing of we are losing or we are being delayed or things are just not working you are going to go through multiple seasons right you are going to go through multiple emotions multiple um learning experiences but i want you to know that your winning season is approaching if you are not in your winning season, I want you to know that your winning season is a pro. Your success is on the way. 
your breakthrough is on the way, your recovery is on the way, your financial freedom is on the way, and those manifestations that you have been praying for and have been working on, they are all on their way. Everything is going to happen. Everything is going to come true. Remember, it is about timing. And more and more about timing, it is whether or not you are ready. Do you know? You are ready for your winning season. Are you ready for your upcoming season? Like, um... Are you ready? Like, are you ready for the things that you are praying for? If God was to give you all those things that you have been praying for, if God was to give you all those things that you're asking for, if God was to give you the results and the rewards of everything that you have been doing, are you ready for that blessing? You know? Blessing? Wearing the correct clothing. Are you wearing the correct clothing? Alright? Are you wearing the correct clothing? Clothing, I'm not talking about clothing you know i'm talking about your spiritual armor like are you ready as a person are you wearing the spiritual armor that is going to enable you to win the battles that are coming your way are you ready to let god take over and for you to like walk behind him are you ready to allow him to lead you are you praying Goti? Your dreams and goals align with the purpose and the desire that God has for you. Yo, we do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, are you ready, you guys? Like, I want you to know that the things that you're praying for, the blessing that you're praying for, God knows what you need. He knows what you need. He has packaged what you need he is he's going to deliver it to your door i said in one of my transformation tuesdays that there's no way your package is going to be delivered to somebody else's doorstep your package is going to come to you and you just need to have faith and believe that your time is coming very important that you keep the right company especially in like your season change like your seasonal changes you know um you need the right company because the moment you have bad company, your winning season can arrive and you won't even see that it has arrived or you won't even notice that God has delivered your package because you are focusing on temporary things. I mean, we are all sitting here watching this video, whether you're sitting or standing or eating or wherever you are, we have this fear of society, like, which is why we think our season is being delayed which is why we think our package is not arriving because I need you guys to grow out of that fear okay I need you to not conform to the norms of the world I need you to not conform to their mindset you know do not follow the rules of the world the world is setting standards and stuff I don't even know what to call them yes you know don't allow, do, do, do not, do not allow yourself to be trapped by the ways and words of to be trapped by that because you are continuously wondering like how these people are perceiving you. And my question to you is, why are you trying to please a society that is not always wishing that, it's not always, they're not always wishing the best for you. Not everybody wants you to succeed. Mara Ola, you are here trying to please them. Like, no, guys, let's 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 stop trying to please people who are not wishing good for us. Let's stop um, hanging out or surrounding ourselves with people who are not elevating us or seeing our to work towards being better versions of yourself. When as a person, set your own standards set your own trends set your boundaries like do what is going to make you a better person because at the end of the day this is your day this is your marathon that you're running and you are either going to win or you're going to be left and keep looking at things in a negative light sometimes people offer criticism to help you and it is all about how you take it you know so um, I need you to appreciate where you are right now in your life. I need you to appreciate the people. Um, 
the mindset like everything that you have right now you are blessed to have it so i need you to be grateful and i need you to appreciate it and i also need you and i also need you to know that your seasonal change and your winning season brings about new blessings it brings about breakthrough it brings about healing it brings all the things that you have been waiting for the things that you have been praying for so just be patient and have faith keep working keep getting ready be prepared because your blessing is coming your winning season is coming your financial breakthrough your healing your recovery your every single thing that you that god knows you need it's coming all right and yeah <laughs> And yeah, guys, um, that's the end of today's Transformation Tuesday. I really, really hope you are enjoying these Transformation Tuesdays. I really hope that they're helping you in terms of like um, growing in your life, um, viewing things differently. Um, Transformation Tuesdays are very important to me. And I, I hope that they're making an impact in your life. And yeah, that's the end. Like, that's it for today. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, absolutely anything you want. Turn on the bell so you can receive a notification every time I post. And share the link with your friends so you can have them subscribing as well. Share the link with your friends because. You also never know who might just need to hear this or who this might just help, you know, or who this might just on Sarah. So yeah, please share the link with your friends and let's have them subscribing as well. I'll see you guys in the next Transformation Tuesday. Bye.